Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way to Faramazula. But before we do, like always, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And really, I didn't do much. All I did is put on some dragon wound grease, and that's all. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to rest at this grace. And then we are going to talk to Melina. I have long observed the lands between. This world is in dire need of repair and death. Indiscriminate. Are you prepared to commit a cardinal sin? Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. O Erd Tree, you shall burn. Burn for the sake of the new Lord. Thank you for guiding me here. The one who walks alongside flame shall one day meet the road of destined death. Goodbye. Welcome, everybody, to Crumbling Faramazula. This place can be a little difficult, but not nearly as difficult as the Halic Tree, so you shouldn't struggle too much. Let's grab this Smithing Stone 8, and we're going to hop down over here. And then hop down right over here for Golden Rune 9.
crazy tornado right here. Hop down, take this beast man out. guys out off to the left we have a beast man go ahead and kill him then over to the right get yourself a lightning proof dried liver activate this summoning pool Light that grace and then we are getting ready to fight ourselves a dragon thought I was gonna fall off there for a second so what we want to do is we want to drink our flask buff our weapon and then summon in our mimic tier Be careful not to fight too close to the edge over here. This dragon will knock you off pretty easily. Just keep that in mind. So for killing the dragon, we get an ancient dragon smithing stone. Come over here, get some dragon wound grease. There are a lot of dragons to fight in this area. We're not going to fight every single one of them. Just because they all don't drop anything important. Just the ones that drop something important are the ones that we're going to be killing. Oh my goodness, that wombo combo almost got me. Grab a smithing seven. Go ahead and activate this summoning pool. We'll heal ourselves real fast. Oh, you know what? Ah, uh, uh, oh well. We will just deal with it. I should have rested at that grace, but I didn't, unfortunately. just have to be careful do yourself a favor and rest at that grace before tackling all of this stuff it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier grab that smithing six we're gonna crouch we're gonna take this guy out with a backstab And then we want to take out the guy that is going to be casting spells. Cool. We get a beast man's curved sword. 
And then a great grave glove wart. We're going to hop down right here. Kill this beast man. And then we have one running towards us. Take him out. There's one behind us as well that we can kill. Now we're going to run down this way. And then we're going to juke off to the right here. So we can grab ourselves a golden rune 12. Come up here to grab some lightning great bolts. Ooh, he's about to do that wombo combo. Thing I took him out before he could. Slate this grace. Don't worry about that um, item over there. We'll get that in just a little bit. And I would not rest at that grace unless you want to fight all of the beastmen again. Let's go ahead and pick up this ancient dragon prayer book. And then we're going to take the elevator down. Let's go ahead and send the elevator up just in case we die. We're going to run over here and we are going to have a dragon spawn in but we're not going to fight it we're just going to run away from it doesn't drop anything special if you want to fight it you can uh, at least for the runes never hurts to have more runes i'm not going to worry about it be careful of its dragon breath once you get over here you should be safe but still be careful of the dragon breath. It'll disappear. It's not going to chase us. And now we have these fun guys. When he does that, run away. He's just going to spit it up into the air. And I'm not taking any chances with these dudes. They are dangerous. What I like to do is get a jumping attack. And then Bloodhound step. And then jumping attack. Bloodhound step. I get a two handed jumping attack. Does more damage. Grab a somber nine. And then we'll come around this way. There's another guy over here. I was going to say go this way, but it's just easier to kill him coming from that direction. Be careful of the dog. I'm not going to bother with him at the moment. We'll come back and kill him. For now, let's just climb this really long ladder. So over here we have another worm face. We're just going to grab the item and run away from it. And let it live its best life. Its best worm face life. Come back to the ladder. Slide down. If he 
you don't have to deal with those guys, don't. Right here, I have another worm face. Want to kill him? That way he doesn't follow us. And then fall down this way, over here, here. And then we're gonna run, jump, and then run over here. Now be really careful, we're going to have another worm face just over here. Get a running attack or jumping attack if you can. And then over here, we're going to have a really big worm face and two smaller ones. Not even going to bother fighting them. You can summon in, in your mimic tier or whatever you're using as a spear dash. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't advise it. So easy to have the death blight build up on you. So we get the glove wart pickers bell bearing three. And then we have a couple of items over here. We can sneak by and grab them. You don't want to run. You just want to pick them up. Get behind these guys. Grab the items and then go to your map. Why is it saying I can't... That's so weird. It should not be doing that. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, well, we I guess we're going to make a run backwards. I've never had that happen to me. Out of all my practice runs. Yeah, that's super weird. Maybe because we haven't rested out of grace? I don't know. Now we gotta wait on that elevator. Awesome sauce. Well, we're gonna rest at that grace once we get over there again. Well, good thing that we came back this way. That way I didn't forget about that hero's ruin too. All right, let's rest at this grace. Now can I fast travel? Yeah, I, I think it was because I didn't rest out of grace yet. I wasn't able to do that. We're going to pick up the Somber Miner's Bell Bearing 4. Activate this Summoning Pool. Well, this video is probably going to be a little longer now than I expected. I apologize, everybody. Let's take out all these enemies over here.
This guy over here is like, maybe if I don't look at him, he'll go away. gonna come over here jump across grab a somber seven hop back across take these guys out that are shooting crossbow bolts at us okay I've had enough of you bud Come down over here. I'm gonna have another guy shooting crossbow bolts at us, so be careful. By the way, all of these guys are very weak to holy, so keep that in mind. Come over here, grab some gravel stones. Then run, jump across, jump across, light the grace. And then we'll activate the summoning pool. And then right over here, you wanna stand about right here and then run and jump. If you don't run and jump, you're gonna fall to your death. So just do yourself a favor and run and jump. Grab a golden rune 12. And then be careful, this is an ambush. Cool, we got the bandit's curved sword. Getting some pretty awesome drops. Come over here. And then I like to just run and jump. This is just like a really sketchy jump every single time I do it. Always makes me nervous. Take this guy out that was shooting crossbow bolts at us. And then up top, we got some sneaky skeleton guys. Or skeletal beastmen, I think that's what these guys are. But I'd rather fight them all one at a time than all together. Come over here, get another Great Grave Glove Wart. Got a ton of those now. And then we can come over here, we can drop down right here. And then we can roll off right here. This is gonna send us back to where those big undead beastmen were. We're gonna hop across, hop across again. And then remember, get a running jump. And then right here, you can kind of just roll. 
We don't have to get a running jump. Got some banished knights to take care of. I like to use my bloodhound step to take care of them. Makes them pretty easy. Well, not pretty easy, just easier. The drops today. By the way, if you're wanting to fight with the Banished Knight's swords, this is a great place to farm them up. Well, any of the Banished Knight weapons, this is a great place to farm them up. Come over here, grab this item, which is the Azula Beastman Ashes. We have a Banished Knight right here. We'll take care of him fairly easily. Then there is an item right here, which is a somber smithing nine. And if we come over here, we're going to light a grace. Now you can go straight into the boss fight from over here. We're actually not going to do that. We're going to enter the boss fight from a different area. But if you want to, you can go fight the boss from here. We're going to fast travel back over to the Dragon Temple. Let's come over here. Grab ourselves a Golden Rune 11. If you're really good at killing the Banished Knights, this area right here is an amazing spot to farm some runes. I always forget there's no item over there. It's because we go through the other side and there actually is an item. It just trips me up every single time. Good thing. I'll get a backstab. Thank you for the free backstab, sir. Sneak up behind this guy, get a free backstab as well. Get a stone sword key, because, you know, we don't have enough of those, do we? Drink ourselves a flask. Then come over here for an item. Just some dragon wound grease, which will come in handy uh, here in Fair Missoula. At least I feel it will. Right there is actually the boss room. See a big old knight guarding the boss door. 
And that's the, the last boss of here is what I mean. Not the boss that we're going to be fighting here in a minute. In my opinion, the boss over here is not that hard. Circle around for that backstab. Just getting all this Banished Knight equipment. Come up here for a Golden 12. And then right there is the boss room. We're actually going to go around. ahead and summon in recusant Barnell or Bernal. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce his name, but if you don't feel like uh, fighting the boss over here, you can go down where we lit the grace earlier and then you don't have to fight through anything and can just challenge the boss. Totally up to you. Go ahead and buff ourselves up. Be sure to put your shield back on so your summon isn't spamming spells. Whew, that was close. Got tag team there. So this is the Godskin duo. A lot of people's nightmare. I believe they nerfed them from when the game first launched. Which, thank God, I struggled so much on the Godskin duos. I actually have a compilation video of this boss fight on uh, my YouTube channel here. God, I hate that attack. It's so, so bad, that attack. So kind of stagger the kills, kill one at a time, that way they're not both summoning back in. Oh good god, get me out of that. Yes, get that backstab. Perfect timing. That should be it. So for killing the Godskin duos, we get the Smithing Stone Miner's Bell Bearing 4. And we also get the Ash of War Black Flame Tornado. Such a cool Ash of War. You kind of spin this black flame around you. Just looks really cool. Let's go ahead and light this grace and we're going to come over here. Actually, let's sit at the grace. Let's not just run off. I like to do that. Just run off and not rest at the grace. Activate that summoning pool. Then come over here and we can hop down. Take this guy out. This guy next. Gonna have a dog eating some bones here. Get a golden rune 11. 
And then right over here, we're going to run, jump across. Be really careful not to get hit with his attack. I have gotten hit by it, got staggered, and then fell to my death. Quite a few times, actually. It's not fun. You don't feel safe doing that. Just hop down over here, kill the dogs, and then kill the enemy over there. All right, we're going to come over here. We're going to get a running jump. Get a Hero Ruins 5. Again, run and jump. Come over here. We have a Beast Man patrolling. Take him out fairly easily. Grab a smithing seven. And then over here, we're going to have an ambush. Don't be scared. Just do your best to take them out. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. It's quick. Grab some lightning grease. If you don't care about the lightning grease, you don't have to come over here. Come up top. Take that guy out. And then I like to come over here because there's a guy that's going to be throwing projectiles at us and I prefer him not to do that. Just trying to Make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Almost forgot that Heroes Ruin 2 earlier. Even though I practice these runs quite a bit to make sure I don't forget stuff. Fortunately, sometimes I do. Okay, we're going to... Open this up. I'm not going to go up there just yet. I believe that there is an item right over here. Yes, that is correct, Mr. Wayne. Jump across. Always hate jumping across here. I feel like I'm going to fall. Be careful. There is a beast man over there. Take the dog out first. Just makes things easier. This beast man is a whole lot harder than the other ones because he's guarding a pretty sweet item. Oh my goodness. The wombo combos, man. These things are so terrifying. So we get another ancient dragon smithing stone, which I say, uh, oh, it's a sweet item. It depends on how many you have, I suppose. At this point, we should have quite a few of them. So jump across. And then we're going to come over here. We opened up the imp statue in the fog wall. Take the elevator up. I'm going to light this grace. And then what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the round table hold. I'll see everybody over there. We're going to do a bunch of talking to NPCs. You've done it, I see. What use do you have for me now? I am a finger reader. I will remain here until their dialogue ends and the thinkers speak again. Do as you please. Take whatever course seems most worthy to you. Now you may go. <laughs> You'd force this tired old crone to work. 
Even now. Ah, harder taskmaster have I never met. Now let's talk to Roderica. Take a look around. The round table hold is burned. Raised to the ground. Don't worry. I don't blame you. I'll continue spirit tuning just the same as before. Which is why I need your help persuading Master Hugh to leave. His roots are so knotted in this place. He won't last much longer if he stays here. His shackles are broken. He's a free man now. It's high time he put the round table behind him. Let's talk to Hugh. I knew you'd be back. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. Weren't you listening? As I've always said, you came to challenge the demigods and their god. To slay them. And as long as you do, I will always smith your weapons. It is what I wish. To smith a weapon for you to slay a god. Here's one. My masterpiece to slay a god. That's all I've lived for. And my promise to quit. And my promise to Queen America. But do me a favor and do. Do look after the girl. I, can... I can't hold on much longer. I'm going the way of the. <laughs> Round table. It was a crayon. The crayon has to smith your weapons during my time here. Allow me to call, call, call you this just once before it ends. My lord. For, for that is what you are. Now let's talk to Roderica, let her know what Hugh said. I see. You're here for some spirit tuning. Oh, is that right? So Master Hugh won't listen to you either. You have my thanks regardless. I'll try and talk him round next time. I know he was given this great entreaty to craft a weapon which could slay a god. Though I can't help but think of it as a curse. Fearsome curse put on him by Queen Marika. And if that's the case, I'm not sure there's anything we can do. Now we're going to go over to Gideon, talk to him for just a moment. You burned the Erd tree, didn't you? Then the round table is soon to follow. Ah, no need to fret about that. The round table hold served to put a tarnished upon the throne of Elden Lord. And if the Erd Tree needed to burn for that to happen, then the round table must go as well. I'll stay at the round table for a time. I must learn all that can be taken from this place and sear it into my memory. How could I call myself the all-knowing if I did any less? The pursuit of knowledge is without end. For knowledge is never a thing complete. Thus, I maintain the mantle of all-knowing. Perhaps the same could be said of guidance. Who's to say whether we'll remain who we are once the fight is finished? What do you think? As one who aspires to become Elden Lord. And then lastly, we're going to come over here and turn in all our bell bearings. Okay, hey, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the Church of Vows. Let's 
go over to the turtle boy. Greetings. Give him our prayer book. Oh, what? very well. Let heresy all thing. And then we're going to head right back over to Fair Missoula. We're going to go over to the Dragon Temple Lift. I'll see everybody over there. Alrighty, everyone. This is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.